sticks, big rap She asked me how I got it, said I got it like that I get it when I wanna, smoking marijuana Keep it hotter than the sun, smoking till the sun up They asked me if I have bands, I said bring your funds up They took me to Justin Poirier, Conor McGregor, first meeting was back at UFC 178 in September of 2014. It lasted less than two minutes. Since your guy Poirier has won nine fights, the UFC interim lightweight championship, all he wants, though, is to get another crack at the notorious Conor McGregor. To win over Conor McGregor can be life-changing. We saw what it did for Habib Nurmagomedov. Dustin Poirier wants that and feels as though he deserves that through hard work and commitment. You have seen him go on a run after going up to 155. That has been unmatched by many. Offensive fight, nice job to block the shot there. Nice job by Dustin Poirier there, sticks the target and then moves his head off the center line. To the, the oh! He needs to start looking at the finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the coach. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, huge block! Nice job landing the double jab. To the left hand now, unable to connect. Powerful leg kick lands. He loaded up there on that high kick. Oh! Just over three minutes now to go. Trying to find a home for that right hand. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Well, 25 total strikes have now landed for Conor McGregor. Starting to see some of the damage cut underneath that right eye. Back and forth we go. Try to establish that jab. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Head kick attempt, but the fighter got the right hand up. Liver kick, big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Oh, and there he goes, working off that jab again. How's your jab? I mean, the jab's nice. I love doing the jab. But you realize that as MMA evolves, guys will start to fight behind a very educated jab. It's just like boxing. The most thrown punch in the first one you learn is a jab. Right. And in MMA, guys are starting to take that same approach because it is such an effective weapon. Conor McGregor is a fantastic striker, and once again, that skill is on display. Let's take it off now. Take it off. Trying to establish that jab once again. A nice punch there by Dustin Poole. Now his opponent's really on the ropes. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's going to do to stay in this fight. Oh, and the ankle kick to get him down. We'll see if he can capitalize. Got the ankle kick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Ooh. 
right punches there. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. On his back now, he's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking because he's getting choked. Oh, and there's the horn at the end of the round. So the fighter was really caught in a submission there just as the horn sounded. Safe to say he was saved by the bell there. So back to the stools they go. 60 seconds to recover here. We're going to fight on, ladies and gentlemen. Another round coming up. All right, so there's the end of the round, the storyline over those previous five minutes. Volume two. No problem, you got caught. You ready? You ready? Fight! Just misses with a left hook there. Oh, nice right hand. Watch the shot. Poirier's lower shot. Oh! What is to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just missed with the straight left hand. Oh, strong punch there by McGregor. And both guys really throwing with authority. Real sneaky body kick. Right hook to the head blocked. Big roundhouse now, just misses. Pretty good job staying patient as he lands the counter strike there. Strong work by Dustin Poirier. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice kick landed there by Poirier. Body kick. McGregor advances and lands flush with the left hand. Lands that left hand. An elbow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. And he oh. comes through with a big knee. A big knee! Oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way. The referee's gonna stop this. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Just over three minutes to go. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Man, that cut is only getting worse. Canvas cleanup guy's gonna be busy. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. 70 total strikes have landed for Dustin the Diamond Poirier. Well, the accuracy there, DC, not great, landing at a 33% clip thus far. Oh. Oh, he was hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. All right, he's got side control here, DC. You know, he's got a lot of different submissions in his arsenal once this fight gets to the ground. All right, got to be careful playing around inside his guard. Absolutely, John. That's why you don't sit in a full guard. When you sit in the full guard, it gives these guys too many opportunities to chase submissions, and now he's jumping on a triangle. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Look at him drive his shin into his own body with that body. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Side control now, DC. A lot of options at his disposal from here. Conor McGregor gets touched by that kick to the body. Oh, oh look at that. He leapt up and landed the diving punch to the head. All right, he continues to bully his opponent here, really manhandling him on the ground. Oh, working hard to get back up again, and he's there. Big kick lands. Oh! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is not a combo meal, right? No three-piece, no soda. It's one and done more often than not. John, don't you come with me.
so lofty expectations for this matchup as round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it all. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Edwards gets kicked to the body again. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? And he landed the right hand there. Real sneak by kick. Watch the shot to the body. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. able to find that precise range with the high kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Edwards gets the takedown there. Well, he's up, but oh, is he hurt. And now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch, and I think a lot of people watching wonder how you can control an opponent like that. Hard to get out of. It's very difficult to get out of. Look and notice how tight his elbows are as he's maneuvering and moving his opponent into positions where he can get off the strikes. Oh, is that a big knee to the body? We'll see if he can follow up. Quick entry here. Nice single leg entry. Rotates the head outside to a high cross. Oh. Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great high impact skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating here at the broadcast. I mean, right there, bo -bo 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 -bo. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Ooh. Edwards going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Big knee there to the chest. Just missed with the left there. Oh! Oh, straight right! Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one home? Oh, straight right! Just misses there with the left. Oh, nice punch there by Adams. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. That is a hard left hand that lands for Leon Edwards. And as usual, DC, letting his fighting do the talking. Let his fight do the talking when he's all business. Oh, big knee! Start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. That big body kick. A oh, little single collar top. Oh, there he is. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything. Whoa! Look, it's there again. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. All right, he engages in the single power tie. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. 
Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Edwards. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, that's... All right, so his legendary chin holds up despite getting knocked down in that previous round. DC take. There has not been a guy that can take shots like this. Most times the night will be over, and gladly, gladly over after you take a shot like this. But this man's just too tough. Some people say he's too tough for his own good. He would not agree with you. He wants to fight. Round two is underway. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice sneaky head kick. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. It probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy is landing his kick with so much force. Beautiful leg kick throw. Oh man, look at that one body shot. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. This might be the biggest shot of this entire fight. He landed a massive And just like that, the fight is over. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, that was just a gorgeous shot to end the fight right there. I'm not even sure the opponent really saw it coming, so back to the drawing board for him. But for the winner, this is certainly exactly what he was looking for here tonight. All right, let's get you some replays. We set it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer for the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine is going to stop for this contest at 53 seconds at round number two. Playing the winner by knockout, Hobbs and Bush Kamada. And there is the man of the moment, and what a moment this must be like for a professional athlete, right? I know you enjoyed the birth of your kids, right? But yeah. you knock out a man in a cage. All right, coming up next, a welterweight matchup between Tyron Woodley and George Rush St. Pierre. DC. 
Legacy, Round 1, GSP, T. Wood, the battle for welterweight supremacy. Your thoughts on what George St. Pierre needs to do to try to take down the former University of Missouri wrestling with George St. Pierre is in a fight with a guy that has tremendous... Oh! to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the Cowboys. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches in bunches. He's doing a great job. Nice punch by George St. Pierre. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie, and they separate. Superman punch. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. And he's looking for that left hand, just missed. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. There's no tell on that leg kick. Big ball punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, you can hear the thwack from here as he lands another leg kick in DC. Now we're seeing visible damage as that leg starts to redden up. And now you start to see the damage. And now you start to see the limping of the opponent. Watch as he gets kicked in the leg, he's turning away. He can't even get any pressure on his front leg anymore. He is beat up. That leg has been tenderized by this young man. Oh, big punch man. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Well, T. Wood's been waiting for an opportunity to set up. Right there, the seminal blow of the fight. I mean, it was perfect. It was absolutely perfect, John. Great placement on that uppercut. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. And both guys really throwing with authority. Oh, and now he slams him to the ground. A beautiful single leg takedown. Lifted him in the air and put him down. Big kick. Overhand left. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Wild swing there. Nice loop and bunch. What a fight. A near-perfect strike to end the fight and end the night for his opponent, who candidly may not have even seen that shot coming. So just the way he drew it up, exactly what he told us during fight week, played out here on fight night. He found a little opening in his opponent's defense and barged right through it to get the big knockout win. Well, what a moment for him here tonight. A huge knockout on one of the sport's biggest stages. That is one they'll be talking about for some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 47 seconds of the very first round. We're playing the winner by knockout, George Rush St. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knockout. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined. The hood's still dangerous, goodness gracious, move like a Gracie other's radars for quite some time. Tonight, it shall be done. Both guys well-rounded. You think we get the kickboxing matches or another one? You just don't know, right? You don't know who's going to be able to employ their strategy the way that they need to. This is a close fight on paper, and also in every performance we have seen them put on, 
these guys seem to be the mirror image of each other. All right, here we go. First round is underway. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got it for the third back. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one? Oh! Just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Three minutes. All right, so a nice job there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be. And if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's incoming. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, the leg kicks have been a big storyline in this one, and there's another one, so he continues to slow his... Oh! 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 This fight's gonna be over. What a great way of mixing up his attack. He didn't stay the course. He mixed it up. He went high with his opponent, thought he was going low, and now he's got him hurt very badly. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy oh! is unbelievable. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step. All right, the official decision is in. Hear once more the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at 3 minutes, 25 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Pepper All right, so there he is, the man of the moment, celebrating one of the bigger knockout victories of his career, and got to be nice sometimes. With Between John Jones and the last style bender, Israel Adesanya. fighters in this division. Hard to find anything resembling a glaring weakness on either side when you break down the floor. There are no weaknesses in these guys. These guys are as well rounded as they come. They both can wrestle, both can grapple, both can strike. They can do it all. And these are the matchups that we dream of as MMA fans. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jumps. Well, we told you off the top he had the reach advantage and you saw it right there with that punch. Really timing his shots nicely, good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick. What a kick by this young man. He does a great job of disguising that technique, and before you know it, boom, he landed. Look at him working at trying to shut the lift down. Adesanya's head kick looked like that one was blocked. Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. 
big ball from punch land. Now we get back to range. Just missed with the elbow there. Israel Adesanya's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Oh, nice connection there by John Jones. And he is fighting with a definite killer instinct here tonight. And you have to have it because the target's always on your back when you're the UFC champion. Jones seems destined to keep that title wrapped around his legs. Well, this striker knows one direction, that is forward. He knows one style, that is aggressive. And that's exactly what we've seen tonight. He has every intent of overwhelming every guy he stepped into the octagon with. And he's doing that up to this point of the first round. So just over 20 total strikes have landed for Johnny Bones Jones. Well, he keeps going back to the well with that left hand, just out of range. Oh! Right hook to the head block. Over and over, he lands a big body kick. What a punch. Israel Adesanya is keeping those feet in perpetual motion, circling to his right now. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with eight jabs. And both guys really throwing with authority. On that punch right there, his opponent's compromised, DC. It's one thing to land a hard shot. It's another thing completely to land a perfect shot. That was a perfect shot. Jones's cheek looks like it's cut here, starting to bleed a little bit now. Round two next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. All right, five minutes in the can. Here we go now with the start of round two. John Jones. And on the other side, Israel Adesanya. Nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh! He lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Jones gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad. Oh! Oh, straight right. Just missed with the left there. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Johnny Bone. Adesanya, go! Oh, huge right hand! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Three minutes. I'm not sure his opponent knows where he is. No, he doesn't know where he is. He's hurt real bad. That punch landed in the perfect spot. So we pull up. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Oh, he might be out. Well, a really good second round for him. Oh! News hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. What a fight! Punch is blocked. Yeah, hurt him a little bit. Big knee there to the chest. His opponent's on Beach Street. He's hurt so bad. I don't know what he's gonna do to stay in this fight. Oh, straight right. Adesanya's lower jaw now starting to show signs of swelling. Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable. Wow! He's out!
$50,000 performance bonus by the end of the night as he stops his opponent there in his tracks, courtesy of that elbow. You know it's been a part of his repertoire for a long time. Beautiful technique. He's got a lot of power with that limb, and he certainly made his opponent pay here tonight. And there he is after a massive knockout here tonight. Near-perfect execution and a seminal moment for him here in the Octagon tonight.